Hello there. Welcome back to the React Masterclass by my project ideas. Today we are going to see what is a use ref hook and how to use use ref hook. So these are the points we are going to cover. Like we will be seeing what a use ref hook is and when to use it together with manipulating the DOM elements with use ref. So first of all, let's see the definition. The use ref hook lets us reference a value for which we do not require rendering or to store a value that is not shown in the UI. So, and the value assigned to the use ref hook will persist throughout the re rendering. User ref can also be used to manipulate DOM elements irrespective of the rendering in React. It basically stores reference to a value inside the memory. So, basically, use ref is a store of the variable, or you can store the variables. We can also store the variables in the use state hook, but use ref hook, it is a little bit of different. So let's just see how to define a use ref hook. You can define either a constant or a variable and define it like as shown in. You can pass the initial value inside the parentheses. Uh, it can be null or whatever value you like to pass here. And to access the value of the reference, you can access it like value dot current. Just as shown in here, like uh, if I want to access a value stored in this ref, then I will access it like this value dot current. This name can be anything. So its value can be changed just like a variable or you can mutate this variable. Uh, how you mutate a single JavaScript variable, you can mutate this thing particularly also. And so when to use the use ref hook? So the most important factor is we use use ref hook when we don't require the value to change throughout re-rendering. Suppose a component is re uh, rendered and a value is assigned. So if it renders again or re-renders, then it then the variable value should not be changed. That is when the use ref come into the play. Otherwise, when you define as like a constant or a variable inside a component, then it is refreshed and everything is starting from new. So the use ref will be stored aside from the rendering processes. So we mostly use the use ref either for the event listeners or establishing the network connections of our application. So because it persists throughout the re-renders, that's why network connection should be stable or it should not start again and again because of the rendering processes. Okay. Also, we can manipulate the DOM elements if required. Actually, it is a dangerous thing to do. But yes, uh, we can also manipulate the DOM elements if there is no option left. We frequently require some variable value so that that should not change throughout the re-rendering or rendering processes. So that's why we use use ref hook. So let's just see how to manipulate the DOM elements with the use ref hook. So it is very easy process. Just define a use ref hook with initial value as a null, just like for a variable. And what we can do is we can assign the element, particularly div in this case, there is a ref attribute to this particular use ref element. As you can see it here, like this. And over 50% of the work is done. So assign this ref element a use ref variable you created. Just like in the case, element is the variable we created, and here we are assigning this. And now in the function call or use effect. Any function call when uh, by clicking on some event that element should change or that element should change on the first time this component is rendered. So I just picked the use effect to be a good place to issue. So inside the use effect, we can uh, change the elements property like element.current. This is our accessing value. And these are the attributes like styles and display. And I have assigned it to flex. So some careful tips or careful steps you must know that uh, to be aware of the use ref hook. So I will recommend you that never ever write or change the value of use ref hook within the component function directly. Otherwise, we just have used the use state hook. This defies the purpose of the use ref hook. Instead, you can write them in effect handlers like use effect or event listeners. 
and it is because of the react expects the component to be a pure function so you can define in the uh, events and effects you can change the value of the ref variables in events and effects but not in the func uh, function component itself so congratulations now you know a good deal about the user f hook too so thank you for bearing it till now